Hey guys, how's it going? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle, and today I'm back showing you guys how to make another dessert video. Now this is gonna be really simple, really easy, and the nice thing about this video is protein powder is completely optional. I know a lot of people will request videos without it, so here's one for you guys. So the base of this fudge that we're gonna be making is going to be based out of fat-free cream cheese. Now, cream cheese, it may sound gross, but it's used in icings, cheesecakes, and a lot of other desserts. So what we're gonna do today is take two packages of fat-free cream cheese and add it into a mixing bowl, just like this one. So today, this fudge that I'm gonna be making is chocolate flavored, and what we're gonna do is add eight tablespoons of unsweetened baking cocoa into our mixing bowl. And then we're gonna measure out a half a cup of our sweetener. Now you could use stevia, but today I'm gonna use Splenda. But the bottom line is you're just gonna measure out a half a cup. And then we'll just add this right into our mixing bowl as well. And then next up on our list of ingredients will be a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now that we have all of these ingredients in the bowl, we're gonna mix it up. Now you could do this by hand and mash it all up and stir it, but that would take quite a while to get it all mixed into a smooth consistency. So today I'm gonna to be using my electric mixer and that will definitely take a lot less effort. So I just finished mixing up our batter that we're gonna use for our fudge. As you guys can see, and it's a pretty awesome consistency. So you guys can tell by that right there, it's gonna make a great fudge. So here what I have is just a normal baking sheet and I went ahead and lined it with aluminum foil so our fudge doesn't stick to it. And now what you're gonna do is just take the fudge out of the mixing bowl and add it into the pan right here. So I just finished laying the fudge out in this pan, as you guys can see. And now this step right here is completely optional, but I think it will make a big difference in the overall taste. Now what I have here is about a handful of almonds, and I'm actually gonna chop some of those up and put them on top of our fudge. So we kind of have a chocolate and almond fudge. I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top of our chocolate fudge. And now what we're gonna do is put this in the freezer for 30 minutes, so I will see you guys then. All right, so here we are about 30 minutes later and our fudge has kind of hardened up a little bit now. This is pretty much gonna be ready to serve, so I'm gonna take this out of this tray, put it on a plate, cut it up so you guys can get a better view. So as you guys can see, it pretty much came right off the aluminum foil and that's great because it doesn't really leave a mess. And now it's really easy. We're just gonna cut it up into pieces. And this right here is pretty much your final product. As you guys can see, I cut our fudge into smaller pieces like that. And we have our chocolate fudge with almond toppings. So this is gonna be a really nice treat or dessert if you're on a diet. And the nice thing about this recipe is there is no protein powder. Now, if you wanted to add some protein powder in there to give it extra flavor and a little bit of extra protein, Feel free to do that, but I didn't really think it was necessary for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up rating because that helps me out and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And feel free to stop by my blog down below. There will be a link to that in the description of this video. You can find all my recipes organized in a nice list that I think you guys will enjoy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next video. Bye.